piece to the puzzle. Today, we are actually going to be making what they call the boom arm. So, boom arm on this backhoe is actually, if you think about it, it's going to be the bicep of allowed to actually extend the arm out so that we can get the full extension that we need to actually dig hold or dig their depth down. So as of right now, we've already got all the metal laid out that we're going to need to make this boom arm today. And all we got to do is basically take this metal, get our measurements from the blueprints, and then get it all cut. All right, guys, so here we go, uh, measuring uh, the pieces that we need out. So I'm going to measure them, and then I'm going to put in the 70 degrees that we need. And from there, uh, I'm going to measure the angle of one on each side, and then a flat piece, one on one end, one on the other end. And then from there, once everything's drawn out, uh, we'll go cut it. sure that I'm safe, you know, only one set of eyes. So I gotta go get my safety glasses and some earplugs and it's gonna take a while to actually cut through because it's some thick metal. So I'm gonna go grab my stuff real quick and be right back. saved us some time. So basically coming back to what I was explaining earlier about cutting 170 degree to get the 270 degrees that we needed. So basically when I take this one piece over, flip it and put the two points together, I got my 70 this way and 70 this way. Since this arm is actually bent compared to the plans, once I start bending it, it's actually going to give our bend on our arm. So these pieces are ready. So from here on out, I need to just measure this piece out and cut it to length. Cut it off and be done. And then we can move on to actually making the brackets and start drilling the holes. Move this out of the, this piece out of the way and get this piece measured and cut. kick off to making our support brackets or the plates are going to support the actual two arms together and then all the tongues that are going to have all the holes that we're going to need for pins and stuff like that mm -hmm. so get this cleaned up get our actual flat stock back up here get all our main brackets up and then we'll get those major drawed out because a lot of them have some unique designs and curves on that and get that all figured out and keep moving okay guys got the flat iron it to make our uh, basically brackets or tongue whatever you want to call it Got the plasma cutter out because that's going to make this job a lot easier. So since these are going to be easy little brackets, should be pretty quick. So let's get to it. Cutting the angles, the holes, grounded down, everything. 
it's time for assembly now. So I'll just give you a quick review so you guys can see all the parts. This is the main arm again. We got our plates that go here to support, and then we got our hydraulic mounts and other mounts that actually connect to the rest of the thing. So these are the pieces to make this arm. Once again, like I said, we got it cleaned up. So our next step is to actually just tack weld, make sure everything's fitting, and then from there we'll actually go to full weld and build this piece and be done with it and move on to the next one. for the hydraulics and the connect to the actual frame and everything like that. So it's actually pretty good. It's actually fairly heavy too. I'm kind of actually surprised. I didn't think it was going to be so heavy. After a few debacles though, if you watch the video, you'll see it. Like I said, there's some safety things definitely involved in this. So you guys will see that. Uh, but other than that, uh, it only took us a day, which is pretty good. The rest of them take us quite a few days, but we are done. And now we are ready to actually move on to the next arm, which is the crowd arm is basically the extension that we're going to do to it. So for now, we're going to sign off. We're going to call it a day, and we'll just let the video play from here. <laughs> 